Yep, you can see the badge. You can see the badge. You've already seen the thumbnail and title and everything. Why am I even talking just about the badge? There's a different camera angle to this one. Schalke 04. Westphalia Schalke. It was also known as plays its football in the Schalke district of Gilkenstein, North West Philadelphia, or West Philadelphia, whichever I just said, West Philadelphia. I don't know how to pronounce it. All I am here for is the challenge that sits in front of us. As welcome, people, welcome returning viewers, and of course, you guys that have just arrived to the Schalke Bundesliga career mode. Yes, you heard me right. Although they're starting this game in Bundesliga 2, the promotion, the title winners, Schalke, of course, have to be built upon. They're going to the Bundesliga, but they need some help. And who best to bring in than a man who's just won four Champions Leagues in his last series? As how big a challenge do you guys want? Going from Barcelona, the Giants of Spain, to Schalke. You can see the board expectations are those that would be asked of a Bundesliga 2 side to win the title with. They're going to be our expectations in the Bundesliga. That is difficult. We've got a 15 million or around right about 16 million transfer budget. It's going to be difficult. And before you guys even mention it, yes, I have done a Dortmund save on this channel. Don't have to bring that up. Don't have to call me Judas. I prefer really not to... Um... Not to speak. You also don't have to bring up the fact that I didn't win four Champions League titles in my last series. It was three, but it doesn't matter. We're winning four in this save. We're winning the Bundesliga. We're winning the DFB Pokdal. We're winning everything. So strap yourselves in, people. Welcome to the Schalke career mode here on FIFA 22. As here are our settings. We've got Euro switched on for the first time. The first time ever I've done that. Disabled transfer takeover. No more money than 15 million. Disabled the international job offers. Strict negotiations, so it's going to be difficult. We're not in Europe, which takes a little aspect of pressure offers. We have an in-game stadium, the Veltins Arena. So nice to actually have an in-game stadium. Camp Nou wasn't even in the game. And they are the things we will take into this save. And here we come, getting our little introduction right here. Look at the blue suit. Matches the kit. Of course, I've got the black tracksuit on from I think a couple of seasons back but we'll ignore that I'm wearing an old one as we will take we'll take the most prize money shall we? we'll jump straight into the challenge I know the squad won't be the best and speaking of it let's see it this is the squad we're given okay 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 there's a lot of 60 rated players a couple of 70s even on the bench and the starting 11 well well you just know it needs a lot of work, and it probably will be changing. If you guys know Schalke, you're a Schalke fan, and you're joining the channel to see this rebuild, or oh, it's going to be more than a rebuild looking at it, please suggest some players that you would maybe like me to keep in the squad. I know Zalazar scored an important goal to get promotion. Terode, top scorer. He had that famous voice break on camera. Some players who have been here a while, like Salif Sane. We've got a 28-year-old keeper. We've not got many youngsters in this starting 11. They all do look quite aging. We've got a 20 year old striker, Shirkov. Flick looks quite young. Uh, loads on that bench. We've got Chana Loglu, 18 year old. He looks like potential. And a 19 year old, Theao. Okay, okay. Maybe I didn't check the bench in time. We've got a couple of younger players down here. Maybe some loan deals for them, but. It's the squad I kind of expected. A pattern that I'm actually picking up on, however, looking through these players, is that they are very versatile boys. Very nice, because in this one, like I did with the Barcelona one, I stick to the formation. In this one, I'm going to try and just go with it, whichever formation I like, whichever fits us. As we can see, actually, quite a few of these are loaned in. It's a Kerr is on loan from Manchester City. I did not know that. Mendiel is out on loan. Our left back, Awejan, is on loan from um, Alkmaar. We've got Kabak, of course, at Norwich in the Premier League. We've got uh, Becker, Vidihem, who's not a youngster, he's just out on loan. Uh, Wouters, the same. Oh, Rabi Matondo, of course. 20 year old Welsh player who looks very decent. Harit is actually still at the club on paper. He's out on loan at Marseille. I'm not going to be recalling any of these players as well. I'm going to let it go through as it is. Levin Machan, he doesn't look anything special. Uh, Lee Dong-kyung is on loan at us. 
Boxer Dan. Okay, okay. Interesting stuff. Them two strikers are on loan. Good to know. We've definitely got money to spend. As I didn't show you guys who I actually promoted and relegated apart from ourselves. So I think that's quite important. You can see down in the relegation, I swapped the relegation playoff games, which haven't gone ahead yet fully. I swapped Hamburg for Hertha Berlin, the two teams in the, well, if you didn't know, one team from third in the Bundesliga, the third from bottom in the Bundesliga one, play each other in a two-legged playoff. I put Hertha Berlin down and Hamburg up for a change. Firth have been relegated in real life and Armania Bielefeld, who relegated Schalke when they got relegated. They've both gone down and Werder Bremen, ourselves, and Hamburg, like I just said. Maybe there's the possibility that we... Um, Try and poach some of them players, as board expectations a good place to start off. Youth development is critical. Sign three players younger than 20 uh, years old with a potential greater than the average player. I definitely think that needs to be done because, of course, how old the players are. We've got as a... Um, what do you call it? The player that comes through the academy and always looks decent. We've got the long-term goals within two seasons. Sign two players into the senior team, that's long term, get a streak of 10 games without defeat at home. A streak? Does that mean 10 in a row? Because that's definitely not happening. And sign one crucial defender, that definitely could. No continental success, reach the round of 16. Avoid relegation, okay, that's a good one. But within four seasons, win the Bundesliga, that's going to be difficult. But that's our aim, reduce player wages by 75k. Finish with 30 million profit at the end of the first window. Not even first year. That's basically impossible. I don't see myself spending money on actual scouts. I'm just going to trust Benjamin Falke for now. Because of course I've got to save money. Put him in Germany. But put him out for the longest amount of times. It's weird using Euros as well. Even though it's basically no different. I'm always used to seeing the pound sign. As he has gone out. And we'll look at our academy part right now. One decent player. Goes by the name of Tony Schwartz. He looks quite little. He's, he's 99 pounds and 5 foot 9. He's going to get absolutely smashed about as a striker. 99 pounds. Better have twinkle toes. And I'm thinking about promoting him straight away, you know. Promote to senior squad. We might as well get on with his objectives as the other ones. We'll, we'll keep in the academy for now and try and train up. But none of them look any good. So no more messing about, shall we say. Let's get started as the captain, uh, Danny Latza, has uh, said greetings, boss. I'm going to say the future's exciting, although it might not immediately be because it's going to be a challenge to stay in this division. Dreaming of this moment, Tony Schwartz. I'm a manager who's going to give youth a chance in this save as who do we have at the start of the season? We start off with Köln, Wolfsburg, and then Bayern Munich, and then Bochum, Werder Bremen, and Leipzig. Okay, bit mixed and as I've gone ahead and put training drills and all the players I might as well look at the um the contract side of things you can see I've got six loanees so they're all going back and a lot of players that are running out on contracts a lot of them including Salif Sane who's on a lot of money who is our highest paid player it's Simon Tarod who's going down as well then it's Sane well Harit who's out on loan uh Butler's in there he's not too great to be a high paid player a couple of others, and after monitoring the players that we have and looking which positions we can go for, I feel like this formation could be the best one this season for us. Yes, it's a five at the back, maybe everyone doesn't enjoy that, please tell me in the comments below if you really don't want to see that, but I think it could work. We've got fast players outside, well, Ojuan isn't, but Hakan channeloglu has got a bit more pace and can grow, or we could put a winger there. Uh, we've got defenders. I think, of course, we need to sign a crucial centre-back who's a left-footed one. I think that's the aim going into this season. We can, of course, get the youngster Theo out in for more game time. Pallison and um, Zalza looks like the perfect pair to sit back on. Zalazar in cam as the youngster Schwartz looks like he could grow to be a very good cam statistically. Not a striker, really. His shooting doesn't do it, so maybe a cam in the making. Chernov will drop out, and Tarod and Butler up front is the first team. So that's what we're going to go with. I'm not going to pronounce all the names straight away, and we're going to see how we do against Genoa. First game in pre-season. Let's try out the boys, as it's a 2-1 loss. But late on, of course, a lot of building to do. Galmades, Ikatura, and Albert with theirs. Okay, as we've received an offer from Trabonspor for our youngster Mike Thiao. Five million. 
I think he could be a good player, but of course with the financial situation that we're in and we need to make a lot of money, uh, we will try and get more. We'll start the offer at 10, why not? And the lowest is 7. I think that's acceptable if it goes through. Seeing as we need a new centre-back anyway, as don't forget to use substitutes for replacement as captain. Wants me to put Victor Pallison as captain and uh, they will not agree to the money, so you're not having the player. And it's a different team for this second game. You can see most of it rotated. Just the captain really staying in. And a couple of the defenders. Farman in goal. Uh, Schwartz is in. Yeah, I forgot we had Farman as well. Very decent. Well, was a very decent player at one point, I must say. As uh, Real Vallecano over in Spain. We've got a scout in Spain as well. Zidane in goal. And we get a 2-1 win. Turaud with our first... Or second goal, he's got a brace. Bebe misses, no, Oscar Trejo misses, Bebe scores. And Itakura actually got sent off for us. That's just coming onto the field, so not the best from that centre-back right there. He has not done himself too proud. As look at Sane's bloody fitness. Has he got no stamina? What's his stamina? 48. I can see why. And finally, you can see more changes going into this one as... I'll actually not put a right wing back. I'll put a CDM there and we'll give... That name a chance in the team. So our final game of pre-season, if we don't get, of course, through, because that was a bit pessimistic of me to say, as every team is on three points. So we've just got to win, really, to get through. How can we do against Copenhagen, a team that I've scouted a lot of players from already? And we get a win. Dashidov, Jurgensen for them, and Aydin with the winner for us. And still no players that we're looking at signing before we go in. And you can see Copenhagen players right there. I am scouting, looking for centre-backs, who of course I want to be left-footed, but none of them actually are coming in who are left-footed, as we'll play this game against QPR, gone to the first team lineup with a couple of changes for fitness. QPR a decent side, you know, and they proved to be. They've beaten us 2-0. Hendrik and Barbe got sent off, so they've beaten us with 10 men overall, and Sanderson with a goal with an hour gone. That's us out of pre-season, but... Time to focus upon players. Will we get a first game played today? I'm not too sure. Maybe we could get to it, but I've got to see the ratings of the players from preseason to maybe pick my first team. But I would like to get my first player in. Difficult with the money that we've been so blessed at being given, but scout reports are starting, uh, starting to flood back. I mean, can we get any decent ones? Hellas Verona now wanting Malik Thau. He's a player... Very much in demand, but it's less than Trab and Spore, so I don't see them up in the price, and that's all we'd demand from them. As Swaj is getting a position change right here already. Going to a cam. Doesn't change ratings, okay. And then we'll try and improve his shooting and passing. Uh, we'll go for the advanced playmaker. And I think I might have found a first player here. He isn't a defender, but we need to start signing some names. Antonio Sanchez of Mallorca. Look how versatile he is. Right mid, left mid, centre mid. Easy name to say. Uh, he's got decent stats, just not a jumper. It's a good job with a football team and not a long jump team. As he's approached by Cagliari, so we've got to be very quick. And I do not want to pay his release clause. Hopefully we can get him on the cheap. Because we don't have much cash to spend. We do have 21 million, but we want to be savvy with that. He's 24, so we've still got room to grow with. We'll offer Bang on his evaluation to start off with. As they want to leave Sani in a swap deal. I'm not too against that, you know. He's a very good player. Sane on paper, of course. But we don't plan on utilising him. We do want another centre-back through the door. So, if you can down-price it to 1.7. Deal. Of course, Salif Sane has to sign the contract to go in the other way. And he has been a four-year stalwart in this defence. But... I'm taking no risks. I'm going to be ruthless with this one. So we'll try and get him on a rotation to start off with. He wants crucial. Important? Crucial. Okay, it will be the crucial right midfielder in this team because I feel like he could play wing back a little bit. He's got okay pace as we'll go for two year contracts on this one. He wants four. You're not getting four, you're having three. And he settles on three as a release clause of 10.3. That's fine by me. Make a bit of profit if we sell him. Oh, that wage is way too high for my liking. We've got to try and downgrade that one a bit. Can we go 24 and 200k? It's not a big downgrade, but it is a downgrade for us. And they're not really budging. Can we go... 
Can we go 24 and stay with the same signing on bonus? They can remove the goal bonus and they can go down with that one a little bit. We'll go for 27. Final offer really, well not final offer. We'll try and get him down by a thousand, which shouldn't be too much. And it's not quite what the lad was hoping for, but we get our first signing, Antonio Sanchez through the door. And I feel like if we were to go into a game right now, this would be my first team squad. As I'm not going to let you look at it for too long because, although I do want to get mostly business done in this episode, if we reach the game, I don't think I'd be against playing it now. One thing I really do like about this squad is the ratings. They're all very bunched, so I think we could rotate this squad quite a lot and get the best out of players, which is a nice thing to say as the manager of this football club. I can just see Dortmund on that table. I feel like the biggest Judas of all, going from a Dortmund save many moons ago to this one right here. It's awful. I'm going to keep on simming on here as we did have a loan deal coming in from Ustende for Radashov. He is in his twilight years of his 20s, 29, 61 rated. We can let him go as I think, oh the graphics have just changed. I think I have found my ideal Salif Sane replacement. It's hard to say that about a player who's spent quite a few years at the club, but that's what we're going to say, as I think that guy's on loan, isn't he, Vintime? Uh, yeah, because I can't talk about him to his contract, so he won't be playing much. We've got a new winger on that side. Sorry, mate, as I'm going to look at this player that I do want to sign. Alex Balde popping up on the list, but a centre-back in Andreas Maxo. I think that O oh, with a cross through, it's Maxo. I don't know how it's pronounced. He's not left-footed, unfortunately. He's right-footed, but he's tall. He's very strong. Okay balance, but it's the strength that I'm looking at, and that's what Sane had. He's got better stamina than Sane in 73, so he's a better replacement, I would say. Younger as well. Let's get him in. Coming from Bronby in, of course, Denmark. A decent club will offer what he's worth. 4.5. Got to keep money, of course, as they want in Tony Schwartz in the deal. Now... There is no chance you get Tony Schwartz. Absolutely no chance at all. So we'll offer a bit more than his evaluation. They want 6.8 and a 10% release clause. That's asking a lot of us. We can go We can go 5.8. Is that worth talking about? They're, up, they're upping it to 7.1. I'll add the release clause of 5%. And we will offer 6. Because I do want to get this guy in. 6.6. .6. Is that more than the first one they offered? We'll offer 6.4. Cut them a little bit short as it's reasonable. This guy will be a chunk of our money, but I think it's a decent one to bring to the club as we'll offer him important. Don't say crucial. He says crucial. We'll offer him crucial then because I do think he will start. A uh, two-year contract is what we're trying to give players. A four-year. You're going to settle on three, mate, if you like it or not. No release clause is fine by me. And then the wage, 26. At least it's less than um, Antonio Sanchez on the wing. We'll go for 24. And then we'll try and stop that down a little bit. Once a big appearance fee, which you can have. And 24 is what we'll settle on. We've brought a right midfielder and a centre-back. Two of the positions we needed. Very satisfied with that, as he can go into the right centre-back slot. As I never even noticed, Theo has five-star weak foot. So we're looking for a left-sided defender, but... He could beat himself, as he's already turned 20 years old. Um, and I think we're looking like we've got the foundations of a decent starting squad right here. Of course, to improve season on season. And we are reaching our first game here. We are reaching the first game. Lee Dong Kyung asking to play ahead of Lazio. I'm going to be reckless. I'm going to be ruthless. No, you are not playing in this team. I have already picked out my team. And I've just shown you it briefly there. Uh, I feel like the bench is sorted. Even Ade Yin is over Wilhelm because, let's have a look at the age, 19 year old. A lot more potential in that guy as we've got a big squad. I'd like to have three pages of reserve, so hopefully we can get rid of one player. The sliders and everything is on the same as the previous series, uh, if you know what happened in that one. We've got Itakura who is unhappy for some reason, but this is the starting eleven for my first ever team. The 3-5-2 formation. Or the 3 2 2 1 2, if you want to be very awkward about it. Frazel is in the goal. Maxo starts at right centre back in his first game. It's Akura and Thiao with a Sanchez, Latza, Palson, and Oijan. Oijan? Oijan, we'll call him. Uh, Zalazar, 
or Zalazar or Salazar, if it's pronounced Salazar, I don't know. Uh, Trau or Traud and Bootler up front is the team we're going with. Of course, if I pronounce any of them wrong, and if you know me, as you've, if you're a subscriber of the channel for a long time, you'll know pronunciation isn't my thing. But there we go. That is the team that we're going with. You can see the likes of... Um, the, the youngster on the bench, I've already forgotten his name, and the likes of other players who could make an impact for this first game against Colm, away from home. Let's see how we can do in our first Bundesliga game. And you can see the players walking out. That Maxo has a forehead and half in game. Uh, but yeah, got to ignore that as here we do arrive at the Colm Stadium. Uh, of course, I'm going to show you the graphics of the players on the screen. Of course, if it gets copyrighted in the next one, I might have to take it out. But for now, we'll go with it. And let's see this team we're against. We've got the commentary on us, of course. And this is quick. Oh, my days. There's no chance I'm catching this this season. Does it show you the team afterwards? I hope it does. Yeah, Schwabe, Schmitz, Kilian Hubers, Hector, Shriki, Oxan, Cherky, Lemperle, Uth and Modest up front. That's hard to pronounce, but... I think I got most and I'm very excited for this one. We start back in the Bundesliga. We had 33 years in this competition, knocked out for one of them and we are back once more. So let's get off to a good start. Pallison with a tackle. Seems weird using players that aren't just absolutely overpowered for pace as well and strength and accuracy in pass like Barcelona was. It's going to be a bit of a challenge to get used to but a challenge I'm up for. Jean with the ball here 20 minutes in and he's got a couple of Ball rolls going. Zalazar. We've got a man just over the top right here. It might fall. I think that was Antonio Sanchez. Captain Hector with the clearance. He, of course, stayed at Colm through and through when they suffered their relegation a couple of seasons ago. As Oxan fizzes that out wide. Max Stowe to read it. On to Antonio Sanchez. Terrell. He's got a turn. He's got a ball through to Butler, who won't beat the keeper. Shirky with a ball through the middle onto Pallison and Latzler. Now on to Turau. He tries to turn a little bit. Ball does fall to him and runs over the top. This one's on side through the middle. Latzler, the captain for today. Of course, yet to decide my permanent captain, I'd say. Looking for the leadership trait. So that ball's gone straight through the defence. This three at the back needs to work a little bit more in partnership with each other. They need to start watching the runs that strikers are making and marking up. As Itakura, good ball through to Latzler. Put it on for Turau right here. And Salazar... Through the middle, looks for Palson on the run. Here he is, the defensive midfielder. Just dip a ball in, and it's deflected straight to him. Does seem to be nothing happening in this first half, as Sanchez now on the wing. We've got a man through the middle. Let's get that pass into him. Oh, just overcooked. And Shirky with the pass away onto Cherky. They've got very similar names, them two, if I'm pronouncing them right, of course. As Uth finds Modest. And in our first game away from home, just before half time. Antonio Modest, a very quality striker him, scores the first goal. Not what we wanted at all, but what we've got. It's going to be a scrappy first season, I tell you that. Strap in, buckle up, 1-0 down. Approaching the break, can we get at them? No. Whistle was literally blown, I'm pretty sure, before the game was even over. So, I guess we've got to let it slide, but 1-0 down in our first half of football here with our first Schalke squad. Shows that improvement is needed, but also, like I just said, it's going to be a scrappy season. I hope it doesn't get to the stage where we're battling for every single point, but it might be that as Ladsler out wide. Sanchez through the middle onto Tarot and Zalazar over the top. He lands it straight to the feet of Urjan. I've got a feeling I'm pronouncing that one wrong as Pallison on a sweet turn into Zalazar. Now onto Lazla as he's going to try and keep it away. We need to try and spin. And we have done onto Tarod, run around. And this is Zalzar with a chance to cross. Wasn't half bad. Seems like we are trying to get at them a little bit. Win that header. Beautiful Theao. Straight onto Tarod, chests it down and can put Latzler, who's going very far forward through. Chip that into the box. Can we get there, Bootler? Oh, he's just an inch away. And it doesn't go for us. It's just telling us to make a change. I'm not going to put Tony Schwartz on in the first minute of the first game. I'm thinking Perlinger. Oh, I don't know how I've said that name, but maybe him up front or Eidlin on the side because he, of course, is a winger. Sanchez is a starter, though. No, we won't change that just yet. We'll take... We'll take Ladsler off because we've got more pace in Flick, even though he's defensive. And we will keep it at that. 
Give a youngster a chance in the first game as we'll try some set-piece tactics. Run near post. Terrell is a very tall player and he's in the box and he's underneath that one, but three men around him was never getting a clear head on it. Was unlucky as Schindler tries to put a ball over the top. I think it's time for another change as well. I know it's not been long, but I'm thinking maybe a little reshuffle in the team. And I'll stop it right now. I'll stop it before they go on and score again. We'll take Ujan off the wing back, who is high rated. Zalazar on the wing, and we'll put Tony Schwartz on. Why not? I do want him part of the team as Shirky drills that one straight into us, and we'll get it out to Bootler, the striker with a very smart turn right there, and we'll pass it out into Turod. Now back out to Bootler. That's definitely a foul, but chip that over the top. Come on, with these wide players, I want us doing well. Urjan, just before he goes off the field, into the middle. Not one, but Turod can get underneath this. Keeper catches, and a run behind the back three right here from... Shirky, who we know he's a decent player, into it, Akura, he's lost it, Uth trying to turn, Schindler out wide, back into Uth, Modest, Franzel, not the best save to be fair, I think he could have caught that one, but it was quite quick, so maybe we give the keeper the benefit of the doubt, as we've got 20 minutes to keep on fighting, they take Hector off, changing their defence up, as Flick gets this flicked onto him, See the pun there, as we've got a man running through, and what a bad ball from the DM, but we've still managed to keep it. It's on to Schwartz here, with his ponytail flying in the wind, over to Toro, who was never off. I think he was onside, as pass back into Tony Schwartz, now on to Flick, now on to Maxto, who hasn't got entirely involved, and that's a terrible pass from the defender, and they're going to try and get at us. We've got two difficult games after this one as well, so not going to be an easy season, as Schwartz... Out wide here to Zalazar, who's on the run. Come on, can the armband captain make a difference? Or not the captain, but can he lead by example? Crossing the near post. Not going for us, a Shirky through. On to Shirky again, then. Namesake's passing's very good as we've lost the ball again. Modest into Wooth. One more on to Shirky. Good save, Franchel. That's a lot better as Turoud gets a pass straight off. On to Bootler, who I'm going to try and get off in a minute as Flick can put that through to Turoud. He hasn't got much pace as the striker, but he's on the end of this. And we've got the youngster running onto it, who scores on opening day. Tony Schwartz, our youngster straight from the academy, the unlucky number 13, turns lucky. And we have a goal. We might get an equaliser or a draw, should I say, in our first game from the camp, who's got terrible shooting. What a start! You might have seen that change we've just made as well, but can he make the unlucky 13 his number? Tony Schwartz, a brilliant goal to get us as come on. Let's kick on, shall we? Imagine if we win this late on away from home. Would be excellent as Pringa, the striker, just come on for Turau, tackled in the middle. And they do have the ball running away. Do not let them score, whatever you do. Shirky, we need someone out wide. Maxto is here. Come on, put a tackle in. He's missed it. Falls to Itakura. Straight through the middle onto Butler. Can these two young strikers do the business? Pringa finds Sanchez. Antonio Sanchez to look over the top. That's a brilliant ball. Onto Tony Schwartz first time, please. There we go. Tony Schwartz. Bit of a fumble with the ball. As it's through to the keeper. And it's a draw on opening day. We will take that with the youngster scoring. 1-1. One, one. And the player that I think will be here the longest. If a because, of course, the squad's going to go through changes throughout the years. It's the player who gets the goal. And I've got to say, impressed with the boys. We fought back on opening day. As uh, I would say, it's wrong opponent to him. And Ujan, I'm going to say, you will do for me as a winger. Even though you're a wing back with not much pace. He did okay. He did okay. As it says on the front paper. Local boy Tony Schwarz grabs first goal. What a signing he has been. An absolutely free one as well at that. As yes, good opening day, I would say. Very much enjoyed that one. As yesterday, guys, that is it for episode number one of this new Schalke save. Again, apologies to Dortmund fans who are still on the channel for going against them. I just thought this would be the biggest challenge. Low budget, high expectations in the division above. Of course, a big side that you guys might enjoy who aren't Dortmund fans. Seeing Schalke on the rise again, but yeah. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe with the notification bell on as well. And I will see you all in the next one. Up the Schalke and peace.